Hey guys, what's up? Joe here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iOS devices to make money. I did an Android one of these. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description so you can go check it out. This stuff is very important, so we have standardization across all of our phones. I have 30 of them, and it'd be a really bad if apps were in different spots on them, settings were configured differently for all the phones. It's so much easier. It's like a well-oiled machine when you have everything standardized. So, we're going to be talking about how to set up your iOS devices for making money. As you can see, I already have mine jailbroken. I recommend you get done with that. Google around and figure out how to do it. And if you're not sure, you can always ask the group or forum. After you do that, the first thing you're really going to get whenever you get your iOS device in the mail, you may get a setup wizard. You may not, depending who you buy it from. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi, obviously. And I don't do two emails for iOS devices. I do two emails for Android. I only do one unique per device. And this is used for the Apple ID as well and any other accounts. Along with this video, we have a document. This is like my doctrine for setting up devices so I don't forget anything. I'll leave a link in the description to go access that on my website. So you're going to be downloading these apps from Cydia. You're going to be downloading Activator, VNC, SB Power Alert, Cleaner, Flex2, Cache Cleaner, iFile, and Hide Me X. Hide Me X costs $3. It's I don't think it's necessary. I just do it to hide the stock apps. As for Flex 2, it's not necessary. The only reason I have Flex 2 is if you have an iPhone that doesn't have a SIM card. I made a video on how to get rid of the no SIM message without having to buy a SIM card. Flex 2 costs $4. Cash clear, you have to add a repo. I have that in the document on my website. The rest of these can be found on Big Boss. Cleaner is used to clean out the RAM. It seems to help with some of the money-making apps I use. iFile. Nothing really used for that right now that I've told you guys about. It's useful to have. I'm going to show you something in the future that I use it for. VNC is obviously our remote access tool. SB Power Alert is for rebooting remotely, just like Quick Reboot on Android. And Activator, of course, is just a staple of jailbroken devices. Hide Me X is for iOS 9, iOS 8, iOS 7, or Hide Me 8 and Hide Me 7, respectively. All right, once you're done downloading all the packages from Cydia, you need to download the money-making app you're going to use on the phone. It could be Swagbucks, it could be Perk, I don't know, whatever it is. Put it on the home screen, and I recommend you just put it in the first column, the ones you start with during the day, and then at the end of the day that you finish with can be in last place. I also recommend you grab clips from the store because you can actually save your passwords in like a cut-and-paste format, and it'll, it'll be saved in your memory. So I do this to make sure that if I ever need to sign in and my password, I don't remember it, I can go on clips and then, ever, then I can copy and paste it to whatever I need to. And then Facebook, of course, can help if you're using an app that does Facebook sign-in because if you clear the cache, then the Facebook app will save your credentials and it'll be easier to log in. So before we do our home screen configuration, I'm going to hide me X and I'm going to get rid of all these stock apps I don't want. The only things I'm not going to hide that are stock are actually things that are going to go on the dock. Um, before I hide camera, I actually want to get a black background just like we did for our Android devices. So I'm going to take a picture of the bottom of my desk. The reason I do this is for better remote access connections. So here I'm just going through and hiding all of my apps. You will have to respring after this. While I'm in here, I also go ahead and disable the notification center because I just don't need it. If you guys notice a reoccurring theme here, I get rid of everything I don't need because this phone is just for making money. Alright, so everything is gone that we don't need. Now at the bottom here, on the dock, I put these from left to right. I put settings first, then Safari, then Mail, and then the App Store. Now we're going to go to settings and configure all of this. So I recommend you just stick airplane mode on. This is an iPod, so I don't really care, to be honest. But if it's an iPhone and it still has a SIM card in it, you might as well enable airplane mode to get rid of that. And then notifications, nothing here. Do not disturb. I usually turn this on and do always. And then this stuff really doesn't matter because it's an iPod. I'll do it anyway. So we keep it on all the time. Then we go into general, Siri, turn it off if it's on. You may have turned it off whenever you're configuring it. And everything else, accessibility, go down, increase contrast, reduce transparency, reduce motion on. We don't need that fancy stuff. Assistive touch, I turn this on. If you're on iOS 9, you can customize it. So I get rid of everything except for home. And then I also do lock. And then I usually stick it right down here so it kind of sits on the dock per se. So we go back. What else is in here for me to do? I usually don't do anything else in accessibility. 
go back background app refresh i turn it off don't need it auto lock never of course restrictions don't worry about that that should be it for general accessibility and then there's nothing else in actual general display and brightness i'll turn it down the whole way but for now while i'm setting it up i want to be able to see i do everything like i said in, in the android one i do everything via my computer through vnc so it doesn't matter how bright the displays are and that saves power reduces heat output yada 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 you know the rest of the story wallpaper we already did that we set a black background sounds everything goes down and turn off change with buttons Keyboard sounds, lock clicks, don't need any of that. Or, yeah, keyboard clicks and lock sounds. Passcode, no, of course not. iTunes and App Store, of course, you don't want updates. Keep those off. They're right by automatic downloads here. Then we go down to mail and contacts calendars. You should have already set that up on the setup wizard. But if you haven't, put your unique email in there. Down here at our tweaks, activator, I like to do left Wi-Fi, and then I go down to system functions and set it to reboot or respring, depending on what kind of jailbreak you have. Since this is a semi-tethered jailbreak, I'm gonna do respring, but if you're on a full jailbreak, just, just do reboot. And this is in case if the phone accidentally glitches and it loses the Wi-Fi, then it will go right back and respring. It'll probably reconnect. You can watch that other video about uh, scheduling reboots, which you can also do here if you'd like now for more information on that. Then SB power alert settings. This is how I do it. I turn every single thing off except for respring or reboot. And then of course you need to set your activator activation method. Mine is double tap the status bar. And as you can see, that's the only thing available. If we did stuff like this, then you're going to see other information on the network. VNC, you need to configure this. I set an extremely simple password of just one since I'm not port forwarding. If you're port forwarding, obviously set a better password than this. And yes, of course, enabled. And that should be it for settings. City Hut has to go on the second page here. And then I usually stick everything else after City Hut in a folder called Tools. These are, this is all the packages we downloaded. And that should be it. And then, of course, you have to get the app that you're using. This is actually going to be a multi-function phone. I'm going to download checkpoints first. And then I'll get app trailers on it. But yeah, this is how you set up a money-making iOS device. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any suggestions, you can send them to me and I'll edit them on the website and add different things. If you think I missed something that's important, I will, of course, add it to the document. You can also download that for yourself and customize this whatever way you want. This is just how I do it. But in the meantime, I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money. This video, I can't go through how to root every phone. It's different for every phone. Google it or ask the form or group with that. But once you got it rooted, download all your apps. Let's go ahead and start here. Here are the apps you want to download. They're in the document, but I'll also read them off as I do them. So app freezer, 